All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. In today's video, we're back playing uh, fucking uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I keep almost saying XCOM Chimera Squad. I played this. I played that game too much, probably. What am I trying to do now? I'm trying to get out of here. Raise the spire. Okay. So I have everything I need to do. To, I have everything I need in order to do that. This rain is loud as hell for me. Um, the fighting and everything is back on because I have to rest. And there's a few areas I didn't actually go through yet on this back wall. So I'm actually going to look at those real quick. Please grab the wall. Well, I didn't, I didn't push jump in time. So, so I do need to fight actually. Damn. I want to take him out real quick because he's easier to deal with. Damn. Gotta get in my ass beat right now. I was trying to use the little push ability on him. I should probably lock on and that'll help. You would think I turned up the difficulty how much problems I'm having with this one. Okay. Now. We want to start doing what we came to do. And this, this, uh, this part also took me too long playing by myself. I think it took me. I don't know, like. Uh, three hours, maybe two or not three, like three or four hours spread out over two days. I'm just running in circles over and over again, trying to remember, remember what to do. And then even when I re-recorded it too, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Okay. Uh, did BD just jump off somewhere? There he is. Got something? <laughs> uh, votive candles, I guess. Offer common. Oh wait, the most common offering brought to I guess this temple. And okay, all right. So, what is this? Those are going well, aren't they? This was lit as a sign of respect and reverence for the sage buried here. Okay, so they're all respectful symbols, I guess. Or the sage that's buried here, at least, is a whoa, respected symbol. Okay, um, I know. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There's a little puzzle back here too, but I've never actually been able to figure out how to do it. So my first thought has always been to try and throw. Uh, damn. Damn, damn. To throw a candle through that gap up there that I was looking at where the, the wall just went. But up there is a, uh, I didn't hear either, but up there, there's a, um, there's still a waterfall kind of blocking the area. So I don't think that's it. But I think I can. Yeah, jump up to here and almost make the jump, but like it's still slightly too far. I'm gonna try it one more time though. Because right now it looks like no water's dropping right here. It's also weird if you see it on like that little sidewall, which actually I know you can, there's like my reflection hitting it, which is pretty cool and weird at the same time. Cause it's like if it's, it was a joke. Um, oh, okay. I, that's definitely not how I was supposed to do it. I don't think, but remains of a Zephyr soldier. They were killed for stealing an offering to the sage. Yeah, he probably deserved to die. If, stealing offerings from anything is bad. Like taking the coins out of those um, coin fountains, where you like the wishing fountains, I guess, or whatever. Taking those coins out is always a bad look. Like, there's nothing good from stealing of a place where people offer stuff up from. 
depending on how you view churches. I'll say it like that. But for the most part, it's probably bad. And there's just a hidden thing in here. Let's go, BD. Oh. Hey, BD. Never remembered, or I guess I never noticed the wall in here actually had a scan on it. I just ran in, got the box, and left. So let's see what this one has. Okay, it sounded like he was going to go deeper into that instead of just saying what he found was disconcerting or whatever. And you're about to... Like, this... It's pretty straightforward once you realize it. I felt like a dumbass when I realized that it was this simple and I wasn't getting it. But, uh... Still a pretty cool concept. Well, I mean, like, how they highlighted it but not told you how to do it at least. I don't I don't think I looked up a video to do it, but if I did, I wouldn't be surprised either. So now another interesting thing is how these vines grew on this chain to be what's supporting it. This is why I threw more than one at a time because that hit, but it didn't actually break it. There we go. I have those vines grew onto this chain because it's been supporting weight the whole time. So something would have had to put it there instead of it just like, you know, growing naturally like it does on the walls and everything. I think I ran to the wrong side. I think up oh, there it is. And I think this is our way out too. Here it is. I have finally found an intact representation of this sacred Zepho artifact. My friend, look closely. This is Nictrel at the vault on Bagano. You can see an object in her hand. Based on this imagery, I believe this object allows a force wielder to perceive the mysteries of the vault. This is the key and the guide, the Zepho Astrium. But who would destroy images of it and why? It requires more research. However, our next step is clear. Find an Astrium, if any still exist. An Astrium? You ever heard of it? Me neither. Very key. Yeah, I understand that. Looks like we know what we have to find. All right. I feel like these entries are being updated too, especially when it says something like multiple entries. I uh, don't even remember what planet we're on. I think we're on Zepho, right? Let's see. What What is it in? Yeah, we're on Zepho now. Almost fully explored it too. Definitely haven't found uh, most of the secrets though. And save and get out of here. I ended up on that far side. I don't know if I was still recording. No, either I wasn't still recording or that was part of like what definitely got cut out of the old stuff, but whatever. Because I ended up getting lost and ended up on the opposite side of where I am now. Okay. Um, I want to increase the throw range of this lightsaber too. Next this is what I'm thinking. Increases distance Cal can travel while using dash strike actually yeah, i'm gonna get that first then i'm gonna increase the distance of my throw because i'm still using the dash strike more often i only use the throw against i need to rest i only use the throw against like long ranged enemies more so but that dash is used on everybody put in rest because we were getting our, i was getting my when i say we let me just say i i was getting my ass beat for some reason earlier i still had a stim pack left but like the fact that i needed to use it at that point just didn't do it but still needed to use it with my health being red Kind of an issue, especially playing on this easy mode too. Very good, Padawan. You've cleared the way. What are you talking about? <laughs> I needed this tomb raised, and now that I have what I need, you're of no use to me. Ooh, that's fuck. Can you reverse what she's done? Can you reverse what she's done? <laughs> Thanks. Hope this new encryption keeps her out for good. Yeah, that's kind of the cool thing now. We can grab these ropes from a distance. 
The only thing that I don't like about that is the the buttons for it are the buttons for the force abilities are unnatural to my hands. Probe droid processing unit. What's it like hacking other droids anyway? Yeah, I feel weird about hacking people too. For a good cause though, right? What's that do? Uh, BD-1 can control damaged Imperial droids. Imperial probe droids. Cool. I should check in with the Mantis. The girl probably knows where they are. They're pulling them to you. Okay. I'm sure the comms fixed. They're not answering. Something's wrong. We need to get back. All right. So we're trying to get back to the Mantis now. Yeah. Around. See, we've been in this area before. Some kind of trap. Okay, so that is the way I'm supposed to go. I don't know why BD hasn't been grabbing on it then. Yeah, I'm gonna say our heads was pretty much touching it last time, but we should be on our way out now, or at least to some actual progress. Oh shit, what's this? So it was the mines on Zephyr. Here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Okay, well that should have been the fourth one we found, but fuck it, I guess. Oh, and this is the area I was talking about too. What is that? Right. Oh, okay, I know what's happening. I've never fought this one before though. Watch this. Nice moves, Jedi. You look small. Damn. I don't know why it has me fight them anyways. This goes into a little bit of a side qu quest that happens. And so far, every time I've played through the game, I've gotten a different person to fight there in a different location. So, let's see. Is that a power cable? Um, I don't know. I, I need to put this down. Okay. Cool. Fucking that took too long. There we go. There's something back there. Now I can plug it in. Let's push Z to do that instead of like just the same when I used to grab it or something. Cold. Stale. I Makes sense that it was Z though, since that is the drop down button, which would also be letting go. Happening in here. This is gross. I'm kind of upset that it let me come in here. Flame beetles, whatever's in there, those ram things. Okay. This can get plugged into here. I did something. Tap this one, plug it into there. And see what's back in here. Let's see if I can find a way out of here. Feels like I'm being watched. Oops. If you're in a prison cell this big with this many stuff, 
this many stuff with this many creatures i feel like you're gonna be under constant surveillance especially looking at that thing which is almost certainly a camera module of some sort you know, fuck you you don't say anything This is just some like weird, gross meat grinder type thing. I said nothing about BD1. There's something below? No. Something here though. Why? Keeps having these openings of just bodies. BD? BD1. Maybe I'm supposed you? to scan in there with BD. Maybe. Okay? Kind of weird how that kind of <laughs> Tarzan me up to exactly where I needed to be coincidentally. Uh, let's see, let's see. Something else I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to put that cord somewhere to open this door. I think. Now this is back this way. Okay, so let's see over here. It looks like that's a plug right there. Let's see if it is. Nope. Ah, there it is. Again, it's weird that the entrance to this cell is on the roof and can just be plugged in by some other cords hanging down. Hey, oh, I'm happy to see you too. Let's get that restraining bolt off of you. <laughs> Poor droids. Let's get out of here before the same happens to us. Something else that's interesting too, too in Star Wars is like the restraining bolt and I guess the theory and technology behind it. Well, I'm, I know the theory would be that they're droids and stuff. Or not droids, but the restraining bolt is like handcuffs for people. But I don't know how they functionally attach to a droid. Because for people, you know, you strap it around their ankles, their wrist, and boom, they can't move their arms, which is most of how they're going to get around. But it feels like it'd be different for a droid because their movement thoughts and all that are controlled by uh like the programming and stuff like that so it'd be as if hello what are we gonna do bd think you can charge this so it'd be like having it's got power now sorry hang on it'd be like it in my head it would be it would need to be like hacking into their programming or something but or it's so simply just like stick onto the side of them somewhere. Or maybe it's a specific spot for all of them. It's like tapping into the motherboard, but it's still kind of a weird concept to me because how or why is it stopping the droid's functionality so much the way? Hear that? Well, actually, like why, why, why is it doing it so much? I don't really know what they do either. Yeah, this is that band we were listening to hey, at the beginning too. I recognize this band. Yep, that exactly. some reason my knees just hurt right now probably because of how i'll sit in there with them crossed underneath me okay Maybe his toy. <laughs> sure. 
Okay. So I think he was talking about Grieve too. Uh, he was talking about the greasy foron fellow or whatever. Yeah, I was trying to use them to kill each other. I was also hoping they would die from that too. I shouldn't blow up still for sure. I don't know where this dude is sitting at. I don't think I fought these ones directly. I don't think I fought these ones directly yet either. There's something else coming. Damn, I'm trying to lock onto the spider so I can take it out. Look how these kill sequences will keep you semi protected too though. Oop. Okay, so all of them, I guess, combine to be called the Hexium Brood. You're nothing compared to me, said I. Oh man, you're just doing all these unblockables. It's like spamming in other fighting games, or like actual fighting games, I guess. Clunk defeated a Hexian Brood Bouncy Droid. That definitely um, would have crushed me. we could have avoided luckily we found him we have another complication the empire knows about the holocron that's not good the entire mission is now at risk and i had a nice chat with the second sister trilla what did she tell you she told me she told me you betrayed her to the empire is it true? She'll say anything to jeopardize this mission. Is it true? She was my apprentice. Before the purge. You should have told me. We're getting an encrypted message from Kashyyyk. <sighs> Mari. Cal, we found Tarful, and he is willing to meet you. That's not all. The Empire overran our position at the refinery. Saw retreated off-world. Some of us have joined the Wookiee fighters in the forests. Be careful. You too. Later. Later. We have our lead.
everything is gonna be fine. Not Can the face talk? I want to be walking up to. I don't soon. know what's going on between you and her. I mean, I figure it's some kind of Jedi thing, but I don't think this is the right time for it's it. It's not any of your business. I think it's my business. And we're all in this together, aren't we? Also, flying the ship. Mistakes, right? <laughs> or maybe not you. Hey, why don't you cut her some slack? I'm not saying do it for me, but you two are the best thing that ever happened in my life. Before you came along, all I cared about was a tight hand on a stiff eater. That's a game term. I know what it is. Yeah, life's not a game. To all I cared about was myself. Easy money. Now it's different. I do like how it digs into like the darker paths of both of the characters or the, the main side characters, I guess, at the same time. Ooh, let's check out our terrarium. This Roche here looks great, Breeze. You know, it's not the origin tree or anything, but it does the job. That tree does look nice. Huh, thanks, kid. You know, you're all right. Oh, bone shear? Yeah. I I'd put one of those in my house. It looks nice. It's like a, um, like a bonsai tree. Okay, but that's going to be about it for this video. That cutscene was long, or I just haven't been paying attention. One of the two. But do we have anything better? I don't think we do. I know we got a new material, didn't we? Ursitin. I like the shine on that one. This one's still like not shiny enough, and I don't like gold for real. You're right, it's bad, but the hilt doesn't really go with it. I kind of like this compared to. I want to switch the sleeve then. Sleeve's kind of just lame right now, so it's not really given like anything to really work with. I kind of like this setup because the silver band, so it kind of matches more. But that's gonna be all for this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next week.